This is my relation. My relation. This is not my position in time. This is not my nation. No nation. I am a citizen of the world. The world. I am a boy. You, you are a girl. girl. Anyway, let me know when we're ready. We ready? All right, good. So, this is for all my smokers out there. If you live in a place where weed's not legal, yo, you need to get to work, band together with your peoples and make that shit happen. If you live in a place where weed is legal, welcome home. I really am glad that all of y'all can be at least listening and checking this shit out. This is a show that is not about weed or anything about it. It's about how a stoner made his way from who the fuck is that to you watching a movie about it. So if you're not seeing this, it's not really, it doesn't really matter. But if you are seeing this, ah, we got you, huh? Anyway, the shit that comes after is what you should be really paying attention to. So keep your eye on the space. We'll get back to you. Talk to you soon. America, man. Hey! Yo, baby, it's Miss Kenya, and we are funking it up with Planet Funk. Tonight's the biggest night on the island. 340 million viewers strong for MTV. It's going all over Europe. How you guys doing? Oh. You guys got the hit of the summer. Yeah. We've been dancing to it all summer long. Every time I go to a club, the DJs are playing your song. You open, Sorry. You open the MTV up tonight with this song. Fantastic. Do you understand anything I'm saying? I do. I mean, I invented the language, so I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. We colonize your country. Woo! I think I'll go to Spain and we'll go around in round uh, in this crazy air. It be the time we'll go around in round in Ibiza You know I need pure ecstasy They say that love can make me whole So come on sunshine on me in And save my save Come save my soul Save Come save my soul Save men Ibiza you. When you get to a beat, to make sure you catch him, he's everywhere. You can see him at the Manu Mission. You can see him playing at the Bora Bora. You can see him at Underground. You just got to a beat at this summer. This is your first season yeah. here, right? Yes, yeah, my doing first season. You're doing so well. It must be the talent. But it's hard work. In a beat, so you really have to not sleep. Get out there. Go to all the places in the Underground, whether it's Morgana, whether it's Mambo Sunsets, whether it's the biggest club in the world, Privilege, or it's the Funky Room on Ooh, Thursday. I'm rocking at Pacha. Oh, yeah. There's no time to sleep because it's no, seasonal. No, no time. You only got. Four months to do your thing, baby, and everybody's yeah. doing it nonstop. Doing it's it crazy. Hardcore. And you're working it underground. You're keeping that place popping. Every night you're performing up over there. We've seen you a lot. It's nice to go there and check yeah. you out. If you don't know about it, get there soon. When you come to Ibiza, you can do the clubs. you got to do Manumission. you got to do Pasha. But eventually, you'll get to underground if you're real and you're on it. And you're a hardcore Manumission man. Yeah. Like you said, you just did the triple bill. It's just hard to keep up with. I usually lag I, after space. I spend an hour in space. I got to go home and go to sleep at about 1 o'clock. Will you go on after space closes at 4, then you go on to Bora Bora. Bora. That's right. Then Bora Bora. And when I'm singing at Bora Bora, the energy is, is high. We've just done space. You know, I'm listening to Alfredo. When you get out there live, people in the sun, it explodes again. And you do it again. And it brings get it the to energy. another level. Get you there just, and yeah, man. get your energy. Yeah, yeah. and you just, woo, the top yeah. comes off. Yeah. Tell us about the CD you're out on now with the uh, magazine. Yeah, well, that. we've got White Island Fever, which is Smoke and Joe's mix, which is in the cover right. of Music Magazine right now. And the worldwide release of Swingers Delight by DJ Mass and Paul Carey and vocals by Q. So the White Island yeah. mix, I just White heard Island it today. Theater, I was yeah. laying by the pool playing it. Now yeah. you're on that. Which track is yours? I'm the first track. That's you? That's me. My favorite track. Ah. Ah. Let me hear some of it right now. Come on. If you feel like patting your feet, pat your feet. If you feel like clapping your hands, clap your hands. 
If you feel like taking off your shoes, take off your shoes. We are here to have a ball. So we want you to leave all your worldly troubles outside and come on in and swing. So yo, like right here, right now, somebody needs to be working because I got some shit you gotta catch this shit. You ready? Yeah. I hope you're ready. Hey, secondary B squad, can't you, this is the part where you get to be silent for a minute, okay? Can you pass me that water, please? Oh, now I have also to be the assistant. Mm, you see that? That was the test. Well, they're actually gonna be quiet and I knew you was not gonna pass it. Shit was coming down War was on the minds Of every boy and girl Wondering how we're gonna save this world Wondering how we're gonna save this world Oh, we've arrived at the place we're supposed to arrive. We're behind this baobab right here. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a 
village, like for real, just straight up village. Like, raw. So it seems like the guy here is uh, letting me know that seven days of massage, he can help me out. But our tickets send us back in four or five days. We have the car for six days. We got to go back. We got the construction going on. Someone's going to have to go back to Spain. So we're going to have to figure out how this thing works. I've come this far. If I got to stay for seven days of massage and have him work on me. The first time he touched me, was like fire, dude. It was like literally like he stuck fire in my back. It's one finger. I don't know. But we got to see what we got to do because yeah, we've just come this far. So we're gonna see how we tackle this problem and uh, how we get it all together because we gotta get back and finish the construction. We've got all this stuff going on. We've got more radio shows coming up. It's all coming off. Cute rhino in the middle of Africa in some place. I don't know where we are. We're like five hours, four hours outside of Senegal in the bush, bro. Like straight up. African hut bush, like real deal holy field. So that's my man right there. And we'll see what happens. Woof. Document, brother, don't create. This, you can't even make this shit up, man. I wish I could write a script like this, some crazy ass screenplay, but who has content like wow. this? Wow. Ooh. Is that like a high-end prison commodity? Like, can I trade it for something big, like ramen noodles? Or? <laughs> mm. Doesn't work. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> what if? What if the myth of the nine to five that led you to have all that passionate drive for your job the one that would rob you of your time and would leave you high and dry running back and forth from home to fly to your next new thing that hopefully would bring enough cash to pay the bills for yesterday's stash that you know just thrilled you so much when you were in college looking for that thing that you would follow for the rest of your life hoping to find retirement and maybe even a wife mm. <clears throat> so how are we doing so far the bills and debts are rising and cruising so high it seems like all we can do is just lie to ourselves about our promised future given to us by colleges and professors who think they have highway and life road paved with gold but now we're just too old to believe that santa claus really exists at the end of the college fist full of education yes you are but not the type that gets me a rent mortgage payment bank loan on my car on my house on my life on my wife yes it's modern day slavery our education system and right now the only thing it's giving us is debt until debt do we part so from the heart i tell you entrepreneurs out there future mothers and fathers of the new dream it's more than what it seems it's a lot of hard work but at the end at least you own it Okay. I'm just working. I mean, if this is how... You might as well come take a look at what I'm doing because if not, it looks like, you know, you know you're gonna have to swing around or else it's gonna be like... <laughs> He's got porno in the bathroom and you win. It's like, no, it's not. Alright, come on around. You gotta come around or it's gonna be upside down. If you just do it like that, well, actually it won't be. You'll be able to see it. So, I'm editing, you know, movie making in the toilet. That's what you do nowadays. You have time, you have space, you have silence, great acoustics. And uh, it's how it rolls. All right, everybody out. Back, I'm going back to work. And that's what I do on my birthday, yeah. I sit in the toilet and I edit videos because I'm addicted to work. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's what, you know? It's like, where is he? 
He's a tall boy. No, I'm working actually, because like that's super busy. You know, super busy. The modern world is like that. For real though. All right, ciao. Everything else is behind the scenes. A lot more behind you can get than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a, a little excerpt, a little story. When I got my stuff jacked by Spinning Deep and this guy named uh, Corey, you know, Corey Gibbons. And the funny thing is, is like the whole, the way the thing happened is, I mean, and it's quite a positive story, but it was one I learned from, and for any artist out there, you need to learn from the, a bit from this story. So I had a guy who's a friend, you know, an artist, and uh, he was Bernie and he was like, yeah, come by. I'm recording some stuff. Come and record in my studio. You know, I got these tracks. I want you to check some of these tracks out. I'll, I'm fine. I go down with friends and go and record. I've done some stuff with Bernie. He's a great artist. He's got this amazing studio too, right? And the sound's really great because he's got like the old school mics that, you know, if you know your stuff, you want to have that old school sound. He's got multiple Johns. I do some work with him. I record a bunch of tracks. Like almost a year or so later, he's like, yeah, you know those tracks that we recorded? Some guy come by the studio and he heard them and he really liked your stuff and I told him he can get in touch with you and like he's gonna contact you. I'm like, okay, whatever. So months go by and I don't hear nothing, right? Then all of a sudden this guy is like, eh, it's um, Corey from uh, Golden Key, whatever, whatever. And um, you know, I really like your voice. Uh, why don't you come by? We'll meet. So I go down. I go with Mickey. We go and meet this cat. He's like right past Pasha. He's staying in some friend's house. He lets me hear these tracks. I love the tracks. And he's like, Yeah, I'm thinking of doing this. I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, uh, All right, cool. Well, send me the contracts, right? So what I didn't know was is that Corey had worked, not was working on some stuff with my voice. He had already made these tracks with our boy Bernie in his studio but then he also sold them to Kitball Records and he also sold them to Spin and Deep but he didn't have my permission I said well you know send me the contracts so when he sends me the contracts I realize finally the stuff's already out and he's put the stuff out with not even my name on it I so <laughs> And if you don't get control of your message and your brand, you're just going to be broke. So, that's why I decided that going full on in the business was the way to go. Maybe it happened to you, maybe it hasn't. But I can't blame them for what they did. That's what they do. So I got to do what I got to do. And that's go a different way. This is Q to Rhino, the dog star, coming to you live from Ibiza, happy and in love with life, and not even pissed off at them so much, just letting you know that's what's going to happen, it's the business, maybe it's not even personal, this is what they do, but they can do it to you too, so get another vehicle that's going to move faster than the entertainment business, because it's not going to feed you or pay your bills if everybody's stealing the water from your bucket. Amazing grease, how sweet it sounds That saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found Was blind but now I say me What is your mission?